So what's up guys, Innocenti and welcome to this channel. So firmware just released firmware 15, which looks very exciting and very promising. So in this video, we're going to go through a quick overview of what's new in firmware 15 and all the new updated features that has been added so that maybe if you are on an older version, you might decide to upgrade to this one. So first up, you go to firmware.wondershare.com. You're going to get the new upgrade that is firmware 15. So you can click on get started over here buy if you are completely new let's let's take a quick look at some of the new things that says that they've added on the website so first thing we are getting is a pen tool we are going to look at this more in the software itself very soon is it going to be like a pen tool as in premiere pro and other things or it's just going to be like a normal pen tool so we are going to look at that and we have animated charts as well this is like one of the most interesting things that i really want to take a look at it looks very nice and it looks premium you know so there is also dynamic captions which is going to help really well this is going to mean that you are going to edit straight away in filmora and you can add captions in there just like cap cuts and other softwares as well and also there's going to be the dual timeline editing and then anchor keyframe and finally we're going to be able to import other sub projects or other firmware sub projects within the timeline and there are a lot of things that has been added too so like i mentioned earlier if you are completely new you can get started here or you can buy or try the free version for a few days and maybe later on you can decide to buy now also mind you that if you are a perpetual user of let's say firmware 13 14 or the other previous versions upgrading might cost you a bit of money but if you're an annual subscriber like myself you might get this for free so i upgraded so let's jump right into the software so the first thing you realize is that opening firmware 15 is very very quick and the interface kind of remained the same like firmware 14 nothing really new here but then I realized that maybe this is just like a graphic design point of view. But I realized that some of the things have changed. I'll show you more when you get into the software. And then you can see that the new updates have been added over here. So let's click on create a new project. Now you notice a few changes in the timeline. This is what I was talking about. So you realize that the lines for adjustments and all those things have been made very minimal and very slim. Which I feel like the one in Filmora 14 was way better. But that's new update. So new things and if you look at this side you can have the timeline and the source as well so the timeline will be for previewing your timeline the source is for previewing your media i think i got that correct now if you want to check quickly check your version you can go and click on the version i'm currently on the version 15 0.7 as of the time this video was recorded but if you are on older versions too you can go to help and then check for update right and if you've not updated it will say that you have to update to the new version or if you are up to date it is going to inform you so yeah i'm up to date and these are all the new features so that we have ai extend which is also a very interesting one pen tool animated charts import sub projects dual timeline dynamic captions smart cutout and ai object removers so ai extend is very simple just like the previous version on how to extend audio let's say for instance if you have a video but the video is very short and you want to extend it you can choose the ai extend tool and then you can extend it a bit so that the video will be a bit longer so it's just like the audio extend tool that was introduced very recently and this is for video i hope that makes sense i'm going to make individual extensive videos on each of these updates but this is just an overview of what is new then there is the pen tool so the pen tool is not like the one that you know in premiere pro and other softwares right this basically creates shapes around objects so you can use it to draw like shapes paths and graphics and you can do this in various ways you can adjust them and it helps you to create like your ideal effect and other effects right so you can create like glow effect and you can create shape to match it to the subject that you are working with you can as well choose other stuff to follow the path that you create it's it's pretty interesting very fascinating i'm going to make a video on this very soon you also get to use keyframes to adjust when it starts and how it starts and how you want it as well and then there is the animator chat one of the most interesting features that has been private so you get to create your own stunning animated tags videos that visualize data beautifully so it's very simple it's very smart and it's very inspiring now you get to input data and it creates visual for you all in wondershare filmora the only thing you need to 
do is feed it with the data and it's going to present the animated chart for you. You can even import CSV files and I think Excel files as well. But this is a very interesting feature to look for. We're going to delve more into it in the coming videos. And the next thing which is the import sub project. Now this is going to allow you to import project files as compound clips. So if you are familiar with Photoshop, you are able to set like different projects whilst you are working on your main project. So this is kind of the same mentality here. You are working on one project, but you can open a previous project that you've worked on and add it to the new projects that you are working on. You don't have to open one project, export and later bring it. No, you can open the sub project, it's compound clips, and it's going to support like multi project management and cross project material. So now if you have, let's say a sound or something in one project, you can import it as a sub project and drag it into the main project that you are working on. I think this is very interesting. It makes it look like Photoshop where you can easily drag like a logo from one project into the other without having to close the main project that you are working on. And then there is the dual timeline editing. So you can manage multiple compound clips through tabs, flexibility switch between primary and secondary timelines and improve editing efficiency complex project so now you are not restricted to only one timeline right and this is kind of a build on on the import sub project so once you import a sub project you can have your dual timeline you can be editing this and editing that at the same time in the same kind of project that you've opened and then there is dynamic captions so like CapCut and other features i even recently realized that you can caption you can add captions straight out in tiktok which is amazing so Having this in Filmora is also going to be very interesting because in this case, you're able to edit and add your captions right inside of Filmora with different varieties of captions, which makes it interesting. So you do everything in Filmora and now you can just export and post it on your socials. Unlike first where the captions weren't very interesting. So you do the edit in Filmora, you export a new software and then you do the captions over there. I believe this dynamic caption is going to help solve that. So we're going to explore that very soon. Then and there is a smart cutout which is already in the older versions but this is kind of like an improved one so we are going to test it out whether there is indeed like an improvement because the videos that i've seen so far i don't want to convince myself so much that there is a huge kind of improvement but we are going to check that out as well and see how it goes and then finally there is the ai object remover this is obviously the twin brand of like smart cutouts but you are able to like circle or paint around a specific area and then you're able to remove that object from there so it's pretty much like the smart cutouts you know and Fimura is saying that it's supporting like my magic box for removing quick watermarks, subtitles, people and other distractions. So anything in your video that you, you don't want, you can use the AI object remover to circle around that area and remove it. It sounds very interesting and very fascinating, but we're going to check it out more in the coming videos. So yeah, if you check the effect and other things, for instance, if you go to exclusive, for instance, you can have your animated chat over there. A lot of things have been added and the whole design space has been changed as well we are coming from 14 you can clearly see this that a lot has been changed with the interface right and a lot of things has been added too if you go to your transitions for instance the transition styles has been changed a bit how it looks some of the looks have been changed and other things and even if you go to like the media let's bring it here if you double click on the media for instance you see the lines here everything has been changed The looks and everything, it feels very new and all. The way the animation even looks has been changed and all. But if you are coming from Fiora 14, you are going to find this very frustrating because I was like, why would you do this? Because the one in Fiora 14 looked very cool and very nice. But of course, new upgrade, new change. So how we could do one, um, we are just going to try to adapt to this. But yeah, a lot has been changed in Fiora 14 and some of the features are very promising and very exciting. I can't wait to share all of these in like very detailed video with you guys. So don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out. But let me know in the comment section, which feature are you super excited about and which feature would you want me to talk about first in the detailed videos coming up shortly. I'd gladly take your input in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe and stay so that you don't miss out on all the videos that is coming thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye